Ciao friends and welcome to the whiteboard. In this episode we will talk about invalid relationships. What does it mean when you create a relationship in your model and it is marked as an invalid one in tools such as a Vertipack Analyzer and Duck Studio. Now, actually, even though you never heard about that, it's good to know why sometimes you see additional blank rows in uh, your tables. And the whiteboard is a series where we investigate these concepts, uh, these abstract concepts using the whiteboard to see these uh, elements in a more graphical way, trying to see a different perspective. So it is not a replacement for the content we already have, but it's just something to uh, improve the learning of these concepts. So let's go to the whiteboard. We start from uh, this uh, Contoso model we have seen also in many other episodes. In this case, we have a situation where we have what we call a valid relationships. Our model has a number of relationships between uh, day store customer product and sales. All these relationships are one to, man, one to many relationships. And you see that in this case, the report has uh, the sales amount uh, grouped by customer country, and we see uh, different numbers in every row. And the total sums uh, the value of each country. Now, what happens if we have the same data model where we do not have in the customer table all the customers that are used in the sales table. So let's move our attention to uh, the same model where we removed more or less 50% of the customers. And you see that what happens is that we have the same grand total we have seen before, but now we have uh, a different list of countries. Actually, United States disappeared and we have a new additional blank row here in the first place. So if we take a look at the whiteboard, this is uh, easier to understand. So United States disappeared in the second one. So this is uh, the uh, example with the valid relationships. And this is the example with the invalid ones. And you see that in the invalid relationship, we have this additional blank row that includes a value that uh, it groups all the customers that exist on the many side, but not on the one side. What does it mean? In terms of, um, in terms of data model, we can imagine that we have this situation. So let's draw the sales table and the customer table, which are the two tables we have in our model. So uh, the relationship is a many to one, a one to many from customer to sales, or many to one from sales to customer. And we have in the sales, uh, um, in the sales table, some customer key, so some values in the customer key that actually don't exist in the customer table. So let's say that in the customer table, we have a values one, two, three, four, up to 100. And we have in the customer key 102, then we have 98, then we have 104, then we have 95, and so on. So if you think for a moment, um, a few values in the sales table, like this one, one of two, one of four, do not actually exist in the customer table. And so what happens is that an additional blank row is added to the customer table to actually join all these values, to group all these values that do not exist in the original customer table. So this, the, the, the fact that this additional blank row exists is what makes this relationship an invalid one. So an invalid relationship is a relationship that has at least one value in the one side of the relationship that does, sorry, on the, one, on the many side of the relationship, there is at least one value on the many side of the relationship that doesn't exist on the one side of the relationship. And so if we take a look at our uh, result, we can see that the, the blank country is actually a country that doesn't exist in the, in the data. And indeed, uh, one constraint you have on the one side of a one-to-many relationship is that the value of the key column cannot be blank because blank is a reserved value for managing this kind of situation. So we can see that actually we also have a difference in the value of the United Kingdom because probably the customers we removed 
uh, from the customer table were all the customers from the United States and uh, a few customers from UK. So this is what we uh, what we have in the data. But how can actually uh, how can actually we how can we actually validate this situation looking at the statistics of Dax Studio and Vertipack Analyzer? If I go back to the valid relationship and I open Dax Studio starting from this model, I obtain this uh, result. If I go in view matrix, uh, I'm I connected Dax Studio to the uh, model with a valid relationship, I can see that the tables we have here have, if I reduce this a little bit, this column, so we have RI violations, this column is always uh, blank. So we do not have any invalid relationship. And if we take a look at the relationships we have, we can also notice that the value of the max from cardinality is always uh, less than or equal to the max two cardinality because of course every value that we have on the many side must exist on the one side but we could have on the one side values that do not are not used on the many side we can see this uh, in this part i copied this uh, information uh, in this part of the whiteboard and so what we are looking at is valid relationships and in this case, we have this max from correspond to what we have on the many side of the relationship. Max two is what we have on the one side of the relationship. So this is customer uh, in the case of uh, sales customer. And you can notice this uh, row sales uh, customer key to one customer key is always from two many one. This is the order where we see these numbers and in this particular case uh, you can also notice that the, the the numbers are actually identical so what is happening here is that these numbers so let's uh, remove this one moment so the number we have uh, in uh, customer key is identical in the two tables we actually have at least one transaction for every customer for the products the number in the sales table is a uh, uh, less than the number of products we have in the other table and so on. So when we see this situation, I mean, they, they, it is possible that you have also values not existing in the one side and values on the one side that are not used in the, on the many side. But typically this is what we see when we don't have a situation of uh, anomalies in our data. What is happening in the model where we have invalid relationships? So when we see this blank row, with some value, we probably have a problem in, in our data. And if we look at the same information using Dax Studio and opening view matrix with the model that has invalid relationships, the first thing that we notice is that we have this RI violation that is one. It could be two more. It identifies table by table how many relationships have at least one value on the many side that doesn't exist on the one side. So we have two relationships, one for customer sales and one for product sales that are invalid. And if we look at the relationship pane, we have a detail about the problems. And you can see these details in this area, missing keys, invalid rules and sample violation. So I copied these values on the whiteboard so we can scroll down this area. And we can see what we have in the bottom part that this is the invalid, invalid relationships. So we know that relationships, I'm not so good at writing uh, manually, so I still have to improve. But let's, uh, <laughs> relationships, this is, uh, I think, helpful to understand what we have, so valid relationship now in valid relationships. And what we can notice here is that we have missing keys in uh, the sales table. So on the many side, we have more than 3,000 customers that don't exist on the, in, in the customer table. And we have just one product that doesn't exist in the product key table. This impacts how many rows on the main side, on the many side, there are more, almost 8,000 rows impacted on the sales table because of these uh, customers that don't exist. 
and just five rows in the sales table that have that product that doesn't exist in the product table. You can also see a, a list of the, uh, 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 just a list of samples of the violations found. You will not see a list of thousands of values, just a two, three, four, five uh, unique values. I think that this is the limit that is displayed by Duck Studio in uh, the vertical analyzer data. And so this information tells us that the situation is that this relationship is invalid. There are rows on the many side that don't exist. And so an additional blank row is added on the one side of the relationship. Now, this behavior act happens only for valid, uh, sorry, for regular relationships. We will see in another video that uh, uh, limited relationships do not add the blank row because they are not the, those relationships are not uh, uh, able to identify the invalid relationships and most important do not display a blank row group in the data that we have uh, with invalid values for uh, um, for our relationship now is this uh, invalid relationship affecting performances no not much there could be an impact there are uh, cases, side cases where we do not want to have uh, uh, invalid relationships for uh, performance reasons. But I think that the most important thing is that if you have invalid relationships, you might have a data quality problem in your data. And this is something you want to investigate to understand whether this is an expected behavior or it is a result of some transformation of data that is not working well. So pay attention and uh, use this information wisely when you model your model. So we have seen that uh, invalid relationships are something that is uh, normal in a tabular model, even though it could be a leading indicator of a data quality problem for your data. Usually they do not impact performance in a significant way, even though there could be side cases where you want to avoid invalid relationships also for performance reasons. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, this episode of the whiteboard and uh, watch out for the next episodes where we will go deeper in other aspects of the relationships. Enjoy DAX.